Even President Clinton's AG, Janet Reno, expressed concerns about the final report requirement. The final report provides a forum for unfairly airing a target's dirty laundry, and it also creates yet another incentive for an independent counsel to over-investigate in order to justify his or her tenure and to avoid criticism that the independent counsel may have left a stone unturned. Again, Mr. Mueller, those are A.G. Reno's words. Didn't you do exactly what A.G. Reno feared? Gentleman from Pennsylvania. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Mueller. Mr. Mueller, I'm over here. I'm sorry. Mr. Mueller, are you familiar with the now expired independent counsel statute? It's the statute under which Ken Starr was appointed. Uh, that uh, Ken Starr did what? I'm sorry. Are you familiar with the independent counsel statute? Are you talking about the one that op we operating under now or a previous? No, under which Ken Starr was appointed. I am not that familiar with that, but okay. I'd be happy to take your question. Well, the Clinton administration allowed the independent counsel statute to expire after Ken Starr's investigation. The final report requirement was a major reason why the statute was allowed to expire. <clears throat> Even President Clinton's AG, Janet Reno, expressed concerns about the final report requirement. And I'll quote AG Reno. She said, on one hand, the American people have an interest in knowing the outcome of an investigation of their highest officials. On the other hand, the report requirement cuts against many of the most basic traditions and practices of American law enforcement. Under our system, we presume innocence and we value privacy. We believe that information obtained during a criminal investigation should, in most cases, be made public only if there is an indictment and prosecution, not in a lengthy and detailed report filed after a decision had, has been made not to prosecute. The final report provides a forum for unfairly airing a target's dirty laundry, and it also creates yet another incentive for an independent counsel to over-investigate in order to justify his or her tenure and to avoid criticism that the independent counsel may have left a stone unturned. Again, Mr. Mueller, those are A.G. Reno's words. Didn't you do exactly what A.G. Reno feared? Didn't you publish a lengthy report unfairly airing the target's dirty laundry without recommending charges? Uh, I, I disagree with that. Okay. Did and any, I, did let any, let did any of your witnesses have the chance to be cross-examined? Can I just finish my answer on that? Quickly. My I operate under the current statute, not the original okay. statute. Any, so I am any, most familiar with the current statute, not the older okay. statute. Did any of the witnesses have a chance to be cross-examined? Did any of the witnesses in our investigation? Yes. Uh, I'm not going to answer that. Okay. Did you allow the people mentioned in your report to challenge how they were characterized? I'm not going to get into, uh, uh, okay. into that. Given that A.G. Barr stated multiple times during his confirmation hearing that he would make as much of your report public as possible, did you write your report knowing that it would likely be shared with the public? No. Did knowing that the report could and likely would be made public, did that alter the contents which you included? I can't speak to that. Despite the ex expectations that your report would be released to the public, you left out significant exculpatory evidence. In other words, evidence favorable to the president, correct? Well, I actually dis would disagree with you. I think we strove to put, put into the report I think exculp my, exculpatory my, my, my evidence as well. I got into that with you, where you said there was, ev you said there was evidence you left out. Well, you, know, you make a choice as to what goes into a, okay. a uh, isn't it, isn't an it indictment. True, Mr. Mueller, isn't it true that on page one of volume two, you state when you're quoting the statute, you had an obligation to either prosecute or not prosecute. Well, generally that is the case. Right. Uh, although most cases are not uh, okay. done in the context of uh, 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 the president. And in this case, you made a decision not to prosecute, correct? No, we made a decision not to decide whether to pr prosecute or not. So, so essentially what your report did was everything that AG Reno warned against. I can't uh, agree with that characterization. Okay. Well, well, what you did is you compiled a nearly 450, you compiled nearly 450 pages of the very worst information you gathered against the target of your investigation, who happens to be the President of the United States. And you did this knowing that you were not going to recommend charges and that the report would be made public. Not true. Mr. Mr. Mueller, as a former officer in the United States JAG Corps, I prosecuted nearly 100 terrorists in a Baghdad courtroom. I cross-examined the butcher of Fallujah in defense of our Navy SEALs. 
As a civilian, I was elected a magisterial district judge in Pennsylvania. So I'm very well versed in the American legal system. The drafting and the publication of some of the information in this report without an indictment, without prosecution, frankly flies in the face of American justice. And I find those facts, this entire process, un-American.